DocAv Archiver is a new tool from AppPoint. And it's part of the DocAv Storage Optimization Suite. The Storage Optimization Suite tools really address the issue of data growth in a SharePoint farm over time. When you look over two, three, and four years, you're going to have a lot of data in your SharePoint environment that maybe is not active, uh, but it's still in, in, the, uh, in the SharePoint farm. Things like inactive sites, documents, lists, and libraries. The problem with this is that SharePoint stores all of its content in a content database. And over, over time, everything's going to start slowing down. So these tools address that by giving different options for utilizing storage space. Some of the ways to do that would be to, to maybe store content on a separate file store that is outside of the central SharePoint uh, SQL Server database environment. There's also questions around using the cloud. Um, a lot of customers want to use the cloud to move some of the inactive content from their SharePoint databases. Or in some cases, leverage existing legacy architectures. Uh, for example, an old AS400 system that has huge file stores attached to it um, with older systems. How do we use that? Can we use that today with SharePoint? And the answer is yes. So the one we're going to talk about right now is DocApp Archiver. The DocApp Archiver is a tool that lets administrators set up rules and schedules to go through and crawl existing content inside of SQL Server and basically move that content out of the SQL Server and onto a file store. Um, it's completely seamless when you're looking at the, the content from SharePoint. If you actually try to access the content, you can still access it. You can see it. Uh, it's going to be pulling the actual data itself from a separate location while, where the metadata itself is actually still in SharePoint and managed by SharePoint. Uh, since it is part of SharePoint, it's fully supported by all SharePoint workflows, alerts, office applications, and third-party apps. The way to think about this is DocAv Archiver has a set of rules. In this screenshot here, we're looking at what the administrator would see for setting up rules specific to site collections, lists, documents, or calling out rules for document versions. For example, any document version that gets more than you know, three versions, archive the previous two. Uh, you, can, you can go very fine-grained if you like. So what's going to happen is you set up a schedule of DocApp Archiver to go ahead and go through your SharePoint environment specific to the rules that you've already set up. Now what just happened there, a big, the blob, the binary large object was moved off of the SQL Server and onto a file store. In the end, once the blob is moved off the SQL Server, you're going to have something called a stub. And this is using some of the native technology with SQL Server 2005 and 2008. Um, so that SharePoint thinks that object is right there inside of SQL Server, but it's not. Um, SQL Server has a stub that points to an offline location for the content. From a user point of view, it doesn't matter. The users are going to see a document uh, it's going to look exactly the same in them in SharePoint as uh, any other document, even if it's on an offline location or a, a file store, file share location. So let's look at a quick demo. You can see there's a lot of tools with DocApp, with the storage, with the, uh, the administration suite for SharePoint. Over here is storage optimization. And we can see that there are several products here. There's an archiver, the extender, and the connector. Let's take a quick look at the archiver. You can see that I have a couple settings here under one called plan builder, uh, one to restore the control, or basically to move all that content back. Uh, you can actually convert individual stubs back to the original content. Let's say, for example, you had some very uh, high traffic content uh, that was uh, older content that you had on a file store, and for performance reasons, you want to move that back into SQL Server, where you can convert that specific stub back to content. Looking at the settings here, we can see how it's set up inside of my environment. 
Um, I have some extension archivers set up for my client um, extranets. Um, I haven't set any up on the other portal sites. And there are specific rules that we have here in regards to content that my clients can upload. If we look at the plans for the archiver, you can see you have several options here. Um, we can set up specific rules for site collections, lists, items, or documents. Um, you can actually call out wildcard names of documents. Uh, if, if, for example, in your environment you have a certain type of document that's always very large, you can go that granular here. Uh, you can set up filters for specific types of information. Let me uncheck the no filtering. And you can also set up schedules for when you want the archiver to go through and pull content from SQL Server.